Cubs, they fought back, swinging all the way out. And the last second shots by Tony Gertie to time this up was very impressive. Just using her quickness to get to the basket. So the College of Charleston won against Western Carolina in late January, their only overtime game of the season for Western Carolina. Other than that overtime game, they won at UNC Greensboro on February 14th. Most likely three-point shooter on the Western Carolina team. Jones trying to work on Johnson. Up and under and good. Deidre Jones just has some solid moves. She's able to get around Brooke Johnson and then with a little step through. Shot clock at seven. Hughes, Moy, bucket. Jade Hughes made that look easy. And a pretty one right here, Robin Muller. Well, look how well Hughes gets the basket, and Feimster has to come over, contest that. The defender on the high side, Emily Clark, couldn't get in. She did a nice job of not fouling. Second one goes off the front rim and in, and we're tied with 11.5 seconds to go. Nancy Wilson taking the timeout, wants to draw up the play. In this situation, it's important for her squad, they need to be able to use the majority of this clock and not leave Western Carolina any time. Tied at 74. Katsella and Gertie will bring it up. Tony Gertie, who sent it to overtime with a baseline layup. Moy, got it, 1.8 remaining. And now you start to see the celebration. And Moy, who's a senior, Sarah Moy, Nate interviewed yesterday after the game and talked about how do you control the emotion. She's showing a little now as the College Charleston players feel it happening. 14 points for the senior from Alpharetta, Georgia, none bigger than these two right here. Tony Gertie got to the inside. That draws all defenders in. Moy just spotting up on the baseline side, inside that 15-foot range, place she likes to be. Double overtime at McKenzie Arena in Chattanooga, Tennessee. An automatic bid to the NCAA tournament is on the line. Gertie, all the way to the bucket for two. She sent us to our first overtime with a drive along the baseline, similar to that, weaving through defenders. Hughes for three, and she got it. Hughes recognizes the defender going low. Brooke Johnson trying to come out and contest. Hughes has enough time and space to get the shot up. Sarah Moy to the free throw line. First attempt of the game for Moy as we are into double overtime. Pretty solid shot for a senior from the free throw line. Can give her team a five-point advantage with this one. And she does it. 16 points for Moy. Gertie. Moy. She loves that baseline jumper, and she connects again. Under 10 seconds now to execute a play and go for the win. Clark for the win. And we are going to triple overtime in the women's championship game at the Southern Conference Tournament in Chattanooga. Clark had a great look at it. It comes off, tied at 85. One more OT at McKenzie Arena. Jade Hughes, 19 points, four assists. Wants the three, in and out. Jones, offensive blast, got it. Big girl on the inside, still battling for the boards, and she's hustling down the floor. What a great effort by the College of Charleston. So impressed with the way they fought. Not only taking on the number one seed, the College of Charleston giving them all they could handle and more, taking us to three overtimes to get to this final. 101 to 87.